Hey everybody, the Brit Canuck here. Well, today there's some big, big news if you are interested in playing on this year's TLPs, Yelenak and Vaniki. We had FAQs dropped for both of them, and in this video, we're going to look at the changes that they've made to the upcoming Vaniki server. The Vaniki server, you remember, is the special rule set server that started in the Gates of Discord ex uh, expansion, but also has a level limit so you won't be able to level to 60 or 65 straight away you're going to be stuck at level 40 so let's dive on into the faq and see what changes they are making all right so here we go on the vaniki server faq and if you look i think that's art form i think that's gates of discord it looks like it's spine spiny do some gates of discord i can't remember what given the ear of the other images really got to look clean yeah i think that's gates of discord i think that's a nice little touch so here we go after reviewing player feedback and we know that they do review the feedback this will be not the first time that they've changed course on a few servers in the past um, they've concluded that Vinicky may benefit from having a longer duration in each expansion so the current plan is to adjust the schedule to the following two months of eras with one expansion and level cap increase and three months of eras where there's more than one expansion and level increase and the example that they gave is Ums of War through P.O.R. would previously be two months, and no, that would be free. I I don't like that. I, that, that that's, that's not good. I don't like that at all. Um, duration of SOF, Shadows or Secrets of Phaedra, would previously have been one month and will now be two. Um, they want more players to be able to reach the goal of beating the raids needed at each cap. It's quite fast to expect people to beat an expansion in one month at 10 levels behind. We understand this may affect your interest in the server, and we hope that you will understand our reasoning behind this change. And of course they said it is, and I think a big caveat on this, is it's still subject to change. So, what has exactly changed? Well, no changes straight away, you're going to be starting on Gates of Discord at level 40. Yep, level 50 comes 4 weeks later, level 55 comes 2 weeks later, and then 4 weeks after that, you get all the expansions up to Prophecy of Rogue. Some good ones in there, and then you're stuck on Prophecy of Row, and you're stuck there for 12 weeks. That is going to kill the server. I've always said I thought this might be better as an event server. I cannot see a population really lasting in any great numbers beyond that. They, these people are going to be playing on this server now are going to be dipping out. They're going to do it, and then they're going to dip out, go somewhere else. When the next one not comes, they'll come back for a couple of weeks and dip out again. I, I have, I have trouble with that. I don't think that's a good decision. I think that, yeah, they want more people to, to see it and do it. But you know, twelve weeks that prophecy of rope. And and if you look, it, I'm not going to go through it all because there's a lot. It kind of carries on, and twelve weeks later, you know, hundred. Uh, and 20 unlocks now if you were to look at a um, I could even to table it out for Nikki won't hit level 20 now until 2025 it's like been extended for a year um, and I, I just don't think that's a good decision I think they should have treated this more like an event server had it super quick unlocks let's go let's have fun and burn through this content I'm yeah, I'm a bit worried for this server now, beyond like those people that really want these rewards. So now we do know what rewards are coming, and we're going to go quickly go through those. So in Gates of Discord, the goal is to beat Kazakh Fool. Now, caveat to that, that Kazakh Fool is not original EQ Kazakh Fool, that's the various revamp of Kazakh Fool. So it's even harder at level 40. And that's an item that grants low-level stat food at a click. And it's unlimited charges. Okay, stat food, great, nice. Don't know what stat food it is, so how good it is, we don't know. Level 50, you know, when level 50 unlocks, so that's after the initial four weeks, the goal is to kill Yelenak, and you get a teleport to Western Waste. Uh, Scars of Values version. And that's, that's kind of nice. Um, but <laughs> it's kind of nice if you are going to play on another TLP. It's useless on this one. But if you're going to come back to play on next year's TLP, and especially if you're going to be in a platform guild, 
that's a very useful item it's also useful if you're just super lazy and don't like running through um cobalt scar or picking through it or, and things like that you can just teleport straight into western waste i, I kind of like that that to me is probably i've been through the whole list that probably is my most useful item if you're going to play on a later tlp so low 55 it goes to kill the crag beast queen and you're going to get raid currency based off that um, so you get to choose a batch of currency from all raid currencies in the game at that time of the server launch um, which at that point won't be many and you get based on 2.5 times the price of a breastplate item so you'd be able to go and be able to claim a bunch of um, armor and stuff straight away and weapons so that's that's useful now the next one the level 60 goal this is what i think there's a bit of an oof uh, to be honest is the rift seekers king or queen if memory serves they don't have an aoc there's no agent of change for those so yeah that's open world that's <laughs> that could be a problem uh, i think they're going to have to look at adding in an agent of change uh for rift seekers because otherwise that is going to get um perma camped yeah you know, one guild could just block that reward from everyone and the re reward is a cool illusion of Viniki. and i think at this point i i just can't see the population really continuing um but you know, Serpent Spine, Ashen Gate, you know, another stat drink item, great. Secrets, uh, Meldraft Mansion, kill Meldraft. And you get a teleport. Okay, useful. Uh, more raid currency. Uh, illusions, I like the illusions, that's pretty cool. Um, Veil of Alaris, Purity Augment, okay. Another teleport, more raid currency. That I, The level 100 one, I think, is the cool one. Uh, the gnome work I, I like that kind of idea um and that I'd, you know i think will be worthwhile if you just like illusion it doesn't benefit you in any way you just look cool um then i'd submit grants a shadow step i click you know usual additionally simply for playing on level city uh, uh simply for playing on veniki to level 60 you'll be granted four weapon ornaments and an additional weapon ornament for each level cap after that and there's some of the, the uh, weapon designs that they've made. Kind of like a rustic. Like they kind of look kunaki. If anything, like jungle, tribal kind of effect going on there. I don't know what the tie to Viniki is with that. Maybe they're just some. Um, don't know if these have been designed specifically for this reward or they just had these designs lying around. And since it's 64 bit, they can include them. But I mean, they look all right. If uh, ornaments are your thing and you like to look a bit unique, these will certainly be unique. Uh, you know, you're going to get one, you get four. So you'll be able to go in and you'll be able to pick which four you want. And then each level cap, you pick another four. That's pretty cool. So can you claim on your main character? Yeah, you, rewards are granted as a claim that you may claim on any one character on the same account and to be available on other servers and expansion locked in the case of the progression servers. Now, what does that mean, expansion lock? That means you can't, next year's server or whatever, you can't use your low, your stat food click until gates of discord. Does that also mean you can't use your western waste click until gates of discord? No, otherwise it'd be useless. You must have be able to use that in scars of Velius, but I probably should confirm that. Um, and then I'm, I'm presuming these will just be available straight away yeah they're not they're not going to lock the illusions behind an expansion surely that would make it completely pointless you know especially for that non work one um which i imagine is a, the, the only cool one for me um now a few other things the experience rate is going to be the same so it's going to be starting at gates so you get the the accelerated gates of discord expansion so that's good um level requirements for gear they are basically you, they will function as a recommended level so that means the stats might not be quite as good um if an item is both required and recommended it will use the highest as a recommended the required level to activate spells and items will be 10 levels lower than on the standard rule set so uh, that's a pretty nice item that means that you're going to be able to get items that say level locked at level 60 you will be able to get them at a lower level that's good i kind of like that 
uh, zone require how has zone requirements been handled so that's like zones that have uh say a minimum of level 46 like the planes they will be reduced by 10 levels so the planes you'll be able to access at 36 as an example will mitigation under mighty be that yep of course because it's a progression server you will see that will spells be able to land on anything if we're 10 levels behind they're making changes there that is a problem um well let's cover the next one first stuns mez charm will they also be affected and the level cap is being increased by 10 levels so that means like a level 40 mez spell will land on a level 50 or it'll be increased it'll be like 10 levels otherwise you'll never be able to, to charm anything um, at that level so charm could be important the problem with casters on this server is you're going to be so much weaker than the melee like you will have a level 40 damage spell straight away that is going to suck and do no damage compared to say a monk with really nice weapons that they can claim from ldon or something like that um, i do not see the point of playing a caster on this server maybe outside of a mage where the pets are going to be really good because a wizard what's the point you are just not gonna do any damage whatsoever at level 40 with those with that era of spells i think they need to look at that um i don't know if they can if that's something that they're prepared to do but other than otherwise what's the point of playing a wizard what's the point uh, playing a necromancer you can be doing no damage you're just not going to be contributing you'll do a lot more as a uh, monk or a rogue so that's interesting other adjustments to quest level requirements including epics uh miss the mixed old quests will not be adjusted but there are very few of these require a level but the tasks and missions that are in there will relax by 10 okay fair enough 10 seems to be the magic number increased by the message by 10 reduced recommended by 10 uh, zone requirements by 10 that seems to be the theme um, this is a nice one for anyone who's still playing on Vaniki is um, non-scripted non-global loot will be double so you'll be getting more more loot which is nice so you kill a boss you get double the loot and I like that uh, no changes to key in or flag in big one glooming deep tutorial is available from launch that's good because you do get some nice items out of there and it's fairly quick how the server is going to handle that at launch though if it's super busy i don't know um i'm fairly certain the um tutorial does pick but what i found with the tutorial and i don't know if anybody else has noticed this like those first few mobs you get tons of rats and the bats are very very hard to find so you give me a lot of people running around chasing after bats i think initially um, the perks are staying, so you, you know you can use that to stop you losing levels. That's going to be a big tactic, I think, of a lot of girls is using that perk to their advantage. And will out of combat regen be active on this server? Yeah, in the April patch, out of combat regen was relaxed to the gates of Discord expansion. No changes to AAs. That's kind of it. And honestly, I I, I think. Th they anticipated that people would not like these changes um you know they've put it right in there we understand that this may affect your interest so they knew this is going to turn some people off and they've done it subject to change i do not think this was the right call i think uh, i don't know what i would have preferred to, to have seen for vaniki uh, i just don't see it surviving after prophecy of row i think that's going to be a, a hard stop for a lot of people at that point yeah the i don't know we will see anyway like i said it's all subject to change they've made that very clear on this one the yeah that one didn't say that only the vaniki one so maybe they're going to gauge interest further they've still got time still got three weeks or so to make any changes so we will see if that's what they decide to do um let me know down below are you still playing on vaniki are you thinking about switching to yelenak or staying on mischief even or or aradun uh, let me know down below feel free as always to hit the like and subscribe it really does make a difference if you've done that already you know, thank you very very much other than that new videos are coming as we 
speed towards the launch of these servers so keep an eye out for those i am the brit canuck and as always i hope that you have a fantastic day